White sharks are the most formidable and ferocious predators of the ocean, it would seem that no one can cope with it, but this is not so. A friendly family of dolphins, in particular, different types of dolphins living in flocks or killer whales from the same family, surpass the white shark in intelligence, dolphins can easily kill the shark with the whole flock if it decides to feast on a weak representative of the dolphin flock, and the killer whale is similar in size to the shark itself excels at applying his intelligence and special tactics in combat. The killer whale is often referred to as the killer whale. With small sharks, this powerful intellectual copes without much effort, but often enough she has to face sharks of equal size and strength. And then a battle is played out, the outcome of which can only be decided by more advantageous tactics, which killer whales have. Marine biologists have repeatedly observed battles of killer whales with sharks, in which killer whales always behaved in a certain way. They pushed the shark to the surface of the water, they themselves were located vertically with their heads down and fell on the shark with their wide tail. After the impact, a funnel is formed in the water, into which the shark falls, and due to the movement of the whirlpool, it loses the ability to actively move. At this point, the killer whale clenched its jaws on the shark's head and rolled it over onto its back. In this position, the shark is helpless and practically doomed. Such battles often take place off the coast of New Zealand, with killer whales competing with the largest specimens of great white and tiger sharks. As a result of almost 20 years of research, it was found that older killer whales teach the younger generation this technique of attacking sharks. It would seem that it is enough for a shark to connect the brain to its instincts and sharp teeth and the forces would be equal, but nature decided otherwise.